Hi everyone, it's Christine here. Hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me today. I'm just going to make some vintage hidden paper clips. Um, I watched a lady on YouTube and um, it was just, what she made was just so easy. So I'm just going to do my version and I'll try and look for her video and put it in the description box below. So um, it's virtually you get two pieces of book page. You can use any kind of paper. Um, and you can you like use magazine or tea dyed paper. Um, but because I sort of want the vintage look, um, I'm going to use the book page and I'm just because I've got that torn edge there I'm just going to bring it up a bit higher on this one so you get two pages you fold one in half and this one you can fold in half or if you want that extra edge to be a little bit higher on your hidden um, paper clip then um, just fold it a little bit higher like that and then you'll sort of get that kind of look where you've got the two layers so and then you just evenly space now I think Yeah, just evenly space them out. Put you can put the smaller one, the smaller size of the paper clip forward, and the big one towards the back. So depending on how wide you want. So this, just for example, this was one page book um, book page. So it's quite longer than what I'm making at the moment and I could e easily get the five out of it. So this one might be more four, depending on the width that you want your paper clip. So you might want just a super skinny one, and so you'll just have that cut up there. Anyway, that's we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to try five. Let's see how we go. So I can make another one and you can do that. Then you put this inside and you're going to cover them with that and see how you've got the layer of those. So if you want this um, inked, you need to ink that now. So let's do that. this and then you get this rough edge yeah see how you get that once you ink it it really stands out Once that goes in there, then you've got that look. So once even you ink that bottom one, it's going to look pretty cool. You get that double layer look. Okay. So first of all, you put it in, make sure you get it right, right in there, into that fold, and then you just start gluing. And put lots of glue around the um, actual paper clip. Then 
And just remember this piece is shorter, so you might want to um, not go right down the bottom. I'm just going to the bottom where the words are along there. You might have to fix up the paper clips after you've done your gluing. Just so that they're lined up. And it's just a matter of pushing that down. It is a bit lumpy, but the glue does hold it together. Just put some in here. And then you just turn it over and then you do the back. And because this is the same length, you just go right down to the bottom. And then again, you just um, make sure that the paper clips are lined up a bit if you've moved them while gluing. And then you squash that down. It's just a matter of working out where your clips are and cutting through. So they may come out different sizes. But that's okay. So that's how we have that. So again, if you want to ink, then definitely do that through the round the sides, not that long the top. And on that back the bottom as well, because we've already done the front. it all together for the vintage look.
So it's just a matter of um, decorating now. So let's have a little go with these and get them ready for my little projects. I've got some scraps here. And that can even have a bit of lace overlapping. And then you'll actually see that. On both sides. Because with these you can um, actually... Um, Decorate front and back. So let's do that one. Because as you'll see, once you put them in your um, journal on a page, you'll see it on the other side of the page as well. So you'll see that lace on the back there. So this is a sticker. So I'll just add a little bit of extra glue just to make sure it stays. that so you've got that side so we can now cover this other side And this is also a sticker. So then you've got that look on the other side. So once you've got a theme though for a journal, you can make it the same theme on both sides. I'll just show you, I'll put, put it in my simplicity shabby junk journal so you can see what it looks like on a page. So let's find a page. Actually, this here will be gorgeous. So you can have it at the side like that. 
So you'll see both sides. We can have it at the top. Oops. I've just pulled my lace off. Let's just get that. I'll have to use some fabric glue on that because I just used normal PVA. And then that can stay at the top there like that. So you get to see that at the top, the lace. So that's worked out really cute. I'll make some more. Let's let's decorate some more. Um, some of this blue. Let's do one of these other ones. So as I said, like these are so quick and easy and this is something that you can make if you're watching a movie. And I've got some other lace. this it's not as vintage looking but should be all right now I've got some oops got some fabric glue so let me do this that can hang off the side like that Let's find something. So this is a um, sticker stamp, so we will just add some glue and because we're overlapping it on the lace, it will get a bit of that um, glue from the lace as well because that's coming through like that. book of bit too big I've got some other numbers So that's that one. So we just turn that over and we'll do the back as well. I love the um, torn edges 
on things so um, definitely do that Yeah, so there's another one done. Which looks really cute. Alright. So we've got that one there, and then we've got the other side of it there. So let's find a spot for this one. This red in here it comes off of here. Um, I was just thinking um, this would make a better place because depending on where you put it on the page as to where your lace will stick out so if you put it on that side, then you've got that lace on here. Um, but if you put the lace on that side, then you can put it so that the lace is there. But I think I'll just go at the top because I want this colour with this. And that would just stay like that then. And then that one's over here. It's got the green, the sage green, like this page. Page. Okay. Let's do another one. We'll do one of these little skinny ones. Um, I think. So this is a sticker. Oh, I don't know whether. No, I won't use that. Oh, I like this idea. Like that. And I want to get a different bit of lace that can go up the top that can go there and then what about a bit of color um, no maybe That bit of blue at the bottom, and then that, that at the top. Not sure. I'm actually liking just this, but I might ink it. Sometimes when you ink um, an element, it will just stand out a bit more. From the background because you've got that extra color around the edge okay and I'm just going to add the lace
Hopefully that stays. And I'm just going to add that there. I actually, that looks great just on its own. I thought it might need some colour, but. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, that looks good just like that. And everything doesn't have to be like lots of elements. Something like this, just one and a bit of lace is, is beautiful. And what do I want? What other colours have I got here? Might do a green. I want a torn edge I'll tear it off further in need something just simple just a um, what do I need I need to sort of bring it in line with what I've got. Like this is quite a vintage um, stamp. So let's bring something else in. Maybe the ticket. It's not catching me at the moment. Maybe I could do that. It doesn't matter if it overlaps. I think I'm overthinking it. Okay. If I go like that. That can be showing out the top and then I could have something at the bottom. Even something like that. Something like that. Let's go with that. 
there's so many combinations and I do um, tend to overthink sometimes and, and then I just get overwhelmed and I can't put anything down. Um, so... ink it might make it stand out a bit more this is actually a little um, tea dyed label like that so we've got that side and that side so it gives two different looks and you still got the lace along the top there so let's have a look at that in in my journal let's find a page that's looking a bit a bit plain This one. There we go. That looks good. Oh, look, it matches this. That's cool. All right. So I love that. These are really great. These are so much fun. And I can go ahead and keep making some vintage ones to add into here. Um, let me show you. Where is that one? And you can just add that to there. How good that does, does, that, does that look? I turn that round. And then that can hang out there. Alright, where's that other one? Did, where do you, I put it? Somewhere here. Yeah, this one. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at that. That looks cool too. There's the other one. Let's find a tag. Let's put that in there. Yeah, they look great. Cool. Well, I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to make more. And um, I hope that inspires you to make some more. I'll look for that lady's tutorial as well because it was really good. She had different... Um, decorating techniques so um, but yeah so I'll find that and try and find that and link it into the description box but I um, hope you enjoyed that little video and it inspires you to have a go making those um, so thank you so much for watching and take care bye